Hey everyone, it's Kirsten, your Throw Together Vegan, and I am here to make an easy vegan snack for you to make anytime you just want a little extra something to eat, or if you're trying to get in more veggies. So right now, I have a Facebook group called I Heart Being Fit, and we do a weekly nutrition challenge. And right now our challenge is to eat five servings of vegetables every single day. So how many of you guys eat five servings of vegetables every day? That's a, that's a lot. Um, I don't if I don't pay attention and think about it. So that's why I am making this for my snack. So um, I just came in from a long walk and I was like, ooh, a banana sounds really good for snack. And that's a, that's a typical snack for me. I, I eat a lot of fruit for snacks. But I'm doing this veggie challenge it's already like 10 o'clock and I haven't had any veggies today and I have to have five today. So I was thinking, what else can I make? So this is something, I'm just gonna throw some stuff together. I've never made this before, so we'll see how it turns out. I'll let you know, I'll be honest. But the reason I do this broadcast every day is because I like to show you guys that even if you don't like to cook or prep food or clean or spend time and energy with complicated recipes, it's still, you're, it's still possible to eat healthy, eat vegan, and eat clean. So, not all my meals are super healthy. Oh, somebody just asked me if I was 40 or 42. Hey, maybe I'm even younger than that, right? No, I'm 42. Um, so, I am going to have cucumber. So, a serving of veggies is um, two is a cup, is one cup. So, this is going to be two servings. So I'm getting two servings in at once. So um, this is what I'm going to do. And if you're not lazy, you could um, peel it. But I'm super lazy just putting it out there. I'm not even peeling it. I'm just going to cut it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the cucumber up in like little quarters, like um, slice and then fourths like this. Oh, and put them in a little bucket. So I'm going to do that with my whole cucumber. And then I was just kind of, what I do, the reason I like to call myself a throw together vegan is because what I do is I just find whatever I have in the cupboard or the fridge when I'm hungry and just throw things together. And that's usually how I end up with my favorite meals. So most of the meals that I make on a regular basis now started out as a throw together meal like this one. So this might be the next new big thing. Okay, that's a big cucumber, right? So, hey everyone who's joining us. If you are just now joining us, thank you for having my snack with me today. Um, I'm trying to get in lots of veggies today because I know it's tough to get in those veggies. Anyone else have a hard time getting in their veggies each day? Oh yeah, a few of you guys. Um, so this, I'm doing two servings of veggies in one snack. So, I just cut up that cucumber, put it in a little bucket, and then I like garlic, so I like to add garlic to anything that I can. So I actually cut up a clove of garlic. So I'm gonna sprinkle that. Hey, yeah, go team Beachbody, woo woo. I, got a sh I just got a shout out for Beachbody for my shirt. Team Beachbody, yeah, I'm a Beachbody coach. And then I have my Turbo Fire hat. I always wear a hat. If you've seen me before on this, I'm always in a hat. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in a little bit of olive oil just to make everything stick. And there's no specific reason I use olive oil, except that's what's sitting on the counter. Um, and then I'm gonna put like a tablespoon of veginase, um, just to cream it up a little bit, just for fun. Um, I'll just stir that in. And then I'm going to add some salt, sea salt, and put some salt on there. So basically all this is, is cucumbers, olive oil, veginase, and salt, and garlic. And then I'm gonna take the lid, this, this is the this is the cooking process right here. This is where it gets good. Shake it up. Oh, and you get a workout while you're doing this, right? Look, my arms getting a good workout. Um, get buff arms. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. And ready, set. Oh, I can't even open. <laughs> my arms are exhausted from shaking. And voila, we have. Let me get a fork so we can show you guys what this looks like. Little yummy, garlicky, salty, creamy, cucumber snack.
Oh, yeah, super good. You guys are going to want to eat this. So what I'm going to do is I'll take a picture of this, post it on my Instagram account, which is also Throw Together Vegan, so that you guys know where to find me. If you have any questions about this, if you try it yourself, I would love to hear how it is. If you want more vegan lunches, breakfast, dinner, snacks, I also have a YouTube channel at Vegan Diva Kerr, K-I-R. It's the first three letters of my first name, Kirsten. And reach out there, ask me questions. Um, is there anything else you guys wanted to know today? I saw when I was when I was chopping, I couldn't read and chop at the same time, but I glanced up and I saw somebody ask what vegetables have the most amount of protein. Um, I don't know specifically. I know like broccoli, kale, like dark greens have more. Brussels sprouts, I think it's like almost... See, I've looked at all these before, but I don't have them memorized. But I, I just remember Brussels sprouts is really high. And the reason I remember that is because people always ask me, where do you get your protein? Where do you get your protein? And so sometimes what I'll do is I'll make a meal and I'll add up all my protein so that when somebody says, where do you get your protein? I'd say, actually, this meal has 40 grams of protein. And I had Brussels sprouts one time for dinner and I looked them up and I was shocked. It was like almost a gram of protein per Brussels sprout or something crazy like that. So, um, but there's, there's great apps like my fitness pal and stuff where you can look all that up. So I don't have to memorize it. I just look it up online. Um, but I do want to say that cause people ask about protein all the time. Protein is not the only thing to look at when you're eating. And it was interesting. I haven't shared this yet. I was actually going to write a blog post about it, but I had this last weekend. I was super needing junk food. And, um, so I went to the store, I bought some almond milk ice cream. Um, I love peanut butter. So I was like, I'll throw some peanut butter in there. And then I wanted to put some sort of like, like cookie dough or something sounded good, but I live in a really small town and we have a really small little grocery store and there's no gluten-free vegan cookie dough hanging around at this little grocery store. But they did have one of those Bob's, wait, I'll see what it's called. Um, the Red Mill. Bob's Red Mill, and it's gluten-free cookie dough mix, and you can, it, there's no dairy or eggs in it. When you make the cookies, you can make it vegan or not vegan. So I just mix that with some water, and then um, a little bit of peanut butter, and then I put it on my ice cream, on my almond milk ice cream. And I ate it, and it was amazing, and it was like, I mean, it was this huge amount. It was so good. It kind of made me feel a little sick, because I don't eat a lot of junk food. But it was the same day somebody had asked me about protein in another meal. So I'm like, I'm going to figure out how much protein this dessert has. So it had a total of 43 grams of protein. So it's funny that people care so much about protein when you're vegan because you can, I, I got 43 grams eating junk food. So it's not about just the protein. I don't want to get 43 grams every meal eating that crappy junk food. My body's not going to love that in the long run. But it, it was just interesting when I saw that. I was like, wow, that's, you know, more protein than most of my meals. But it's all junk food. So junk food has protein too. So just because it has protein doesn't mean it's healthy. This probably doesn't have very much protein. It's just veggies and oil. Um, but it's super healthy. It's pretty clean. It's easy. We made it in like, what, two minutes? And that was mostly chopping. So again, if you're just joining us, you can watch the replay to see how we made this amazing, delicious, easy vegan snack. Cucumbers are super cheap too. They're one of the cheapest vegetables. So two servings of veggies for the um, veggie challenge today. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for chatting with me today. Thanks for having a snack with me today. See you soon. Bye.